we are heading to Home Bargains for an early budget Christmas shopping challenge. Wow, this is where this budget could be in danger. And she's gone. <laughs> What's happening, free game? We are coming to you live. But not live. From here in London, a very chilly London. Yes, the scarf's here. That's how you know we're telling the truth. Today, we are very excited because we've realized that we need to start preparing for Christmas. Before we get into that though, free gang, let us know where you guys are coming live but not live from. Where in the world are you? What's the weather like there? Getting chilly as well? And have you started getting ready for Christmas? Let us know in the comments below. In preparation for this guys, we are heading to Home Bargains for an early budget Christmas shopping challenge. Yes, we love Home Bargains and we've been hearing how good their Christmas department is and how good their prices are. So today we have set ourselves a budget of 50 pounds and we're gonna see if Home Bargains lives up to its name this Christmas. Before we head out guys, I just wanna share something with you that has really improved our health and very specifically our oral care. As what we have to share with you in today's video is this great new Sonic toothbrush from Oakley. Now these guys are dedicated to improving oral care with cutting edge technology and smarter solutions. Our previous toothbrush was the X10, again from Oakley, and it served us really well, but we've upgraded to the X Pro Digital S, which is a Connect Check certified product. And it has really helped improve our oral care and our dental hygiene. And right now I'm going to explain to you guys how. It has super smart technology which gives you instant feedback on your brushing, letting you know if you have missed any of the eight important brushing areas. The way it does this is really cool as it has smart tracking while you are brushing, ensuring the whole time that there is no missing of the eight brushing areas in your mouth. And then at the end of brushing, you are giving a point score to indicate if you've done enough or not. And if there are any areas that you have missed, um, that results in a score lower than 90 points out of 100, it will indicate this in the color red and give you a supplementary brushing plan to make sure you cover the areas that you missed. And to do that is very simple with one press of the button. And this means that your teeth get a thorough clean, you cover all areas, which is gonna mean much healthier teeth. What helps with the cleaning too, guys, is the power of its next generation sonic motor, as it can concentrate the energy to each different bristle tip for the best cleaning power. It also has a duo brush head system with two different types of brush heads. One which is good for plaque removal and tongue brushing, and the other is a more smaller brush head for more delicate cleaning. One thing which is a huge benefit to us is it has a really long battery life, up to 30 days. In our experience, that has been a real pain with toothbrushes, how they run out so quickly and require frequent charging but that is not the case with the X-Pro Digital S. And what's cool as well is it comes with this magnetic charging pad, which you can stick on the wall. And I know that's gonna come in really handy if we wanna use it in our van as well. Another thing I have to give mention to, as in my experience, this is something really unique for a toothbrush, and that's the carry case that this comes with. It is so cozy and smart. And what I love, it's got this magnetic pad on the bottom to make sure that the toothbrush stays in there perfectly. And you just close it up, and take it with you. So it's perfect if you're traveling, or even if you don't, if you're just going to the old hotel or staying around someone's house. For us, it's great to go between here and the van as well. So yeah, really good bonus feature. You can also download the Oclean app, which gives you extra functionality and more customized features as well. But guys, we are really happy to be sharing this with you right now on the channel because Oclean have an amazing offer in conjunction with their Black Friday sale, where you can get up to 40% off, and this will be their best ever price. So head to their website or follow the link in the description where it will give you all the details about the offer, and you can get one of these amazing toothbrushes yourself. Oh, they're not messing about. As soon as you step in, Christmas. How cute is that? I thought you were pointing at that then. I was like, no, that's staying here. It's a really nice display just as soon as you walk in. So for this, anything Christmassy goes. That could be food, it could be presents, it could be yeah. decorations, anything really, isn't it? I'm actually really excited now. That's exactly what they aim to get. Yeah. Come on. 
Wow. And they've got lots of good products here already. Christmas lights, $4.99. That's quite good, right? Yeah, and they've got outside ones, $12.99, all different ones. Light I really like these. Look at this light up parcels. How much are those? Nine, 20, pounds. 20 pounds. So that's going to be a lot of the budget. How about we just get this dude? Is he inflatable? Santa silhouette light. Try me. Oh, lights up. Can you see that, guys? I can, yeah. Well, we can. They can. <laughs> I guess it goes in the window. Yeah. That's only four ninety nine. That's quite good. Ooh. What are those? Just gift boxes. Bath business. What? How cute is that bath ball? I guess bath bath bombs. Right. Um, okay. Oh, it's in a box. Three ninety nine, and it's already wrapped up for you. I like how even a simple thing you put it in that kind of box, and it's a Christmassy thing. Katie, we have to get these hats. I know we've got good hats at home. You look great in that one. They're not hats. They're not. No, they're not. They're, they're ornaments. Oh yeah, it's a novelty hat tree topper. Goes on top of a tree. Oh, oh that's cool. That is cool. This is pretty cool. Look at this dude. It's like a Santa advent calendar. Oh yeah. And you s stick all the things inside the different days. That's $8.99. That's, that's cheap for an advent calendar. I mean, these days you get quite luxury ones, don't you? I'm yeah. really tempted to get one of these though. Oh, I don't know. That's already done for you. What, as a gift for someone? Maybe, yeah, it's already wrapped up. How cute is that? I think about it, it's three ninety nine. dollars so. Yeah, okay, we'll see where we go. And they have a gift this It's just a gift box, isn't it's it? It's a gift box, yeah. And it's faux fur. Oh, it's so soft. Yeah, that's really nice. For four ninety nine, that's good considering you can reuse this. Katie, Jamie would love this Christmas Eve box. She would. They actually had these last year, I remember them. We've already got one though, haven't we? We do have pretty good ones. Yeah, yeah so we don't need that and I think ours is bigger too. Christmas crackers. They're quite nice. Yeah. How much for the box? £3.49. That's a pretty decent, right? You can't leave it there for that. Don't start this. No, it's can't. too early. You can't leave it there for that. Is that really that category? I mean, it's got some good stuff in there as well, look. It's got puzzles and things. Okay, should we go for that? Yeah, let's go for this. Unless we see a better one, we'll go for this one. What's that? Like a giant sweet style blanket? It's a nice cushion, it's a cushion. They've got lots of blankets and cushions, light up cushions. And advent calendars over there as well. A Grinch one. And only for a pound, that's pretty good. Sea salts? Yeah. Are these, these Christmassy? These are fantastic for gifts for people. These are normally £10 and uh, £3.29, better than half price. I'm going to get those because these are You've got some in mind for a gift? Definitely. You found more? I just found these ones as well. They're only £1.79. Are they as good as the Epsom salts ones? I don't know, but do you know what? Because you said that I might get a regular one of these as well, just the, the plain Epsom salts. Was another gift. Yeah, people love things. This is where all the gift sets come out, eh? All of the self-care gift sets as well. We used to get lots of these when I was young. What gift has caught your attention? Well, this is fantastic value because I once bought one of these face rollers for £30. And, and this one is seven ninety nine. And you get a, a mask with it as well. It's a good gift idea, isn't it, for it's someone? Good. Yeah, they got a lot of good gift ideas here. This is Hello Beautiful on it. They're speaking to you. What are these? Bath box. There's like all different things in there to do with baths. That's really cute for a gift. Someone would love that. Now we're into the Christmas cozy area. This is my favourite area. Should I just get you 20 pairs of slippers and socks now? <laughs> Look at this. Don't you want to just get in that display? Go on, go and sit in there. Oh, loads of really cool bath bombs. These are really good for stocking fillers, aren't they? We've got some donut fizzers here. Do you notice how it says, do not eat me? Mm. That tells me someone has attempted it at one point. At some point, someone got this for Christmas and started eating them. Makes me pull a weird face just thinking about it. I saw that. 3 99 that's very good. And not bad for a snack, is it? A lot of these bath bombs are only 99p. Like you say, yeah, good for a stocking filler, only really a quid. Good. Jojo's obsessed with bath bombs. But he likes the ones from Lush. He likes the expensive ones. He's got finer tastes when it comes to bath bombs, hasn't he? Yes. Tree is something we do not need. We've actually had our tree, well, you have for over 20 years. Yes. Still going strong. Years. I can't get a new tree because I love it so much. 
Why would you? It yeah. still works in whatever way a tree should work. No, those are not supposed to go on a tree. I'm just wondering what these ones are for. Where do you hang them? You hang them from the ceiling on the wall. They bring a tree down. They are light, but they're just too big for a tree. Check this out. It's a shopping bag. It says the stages of holiday shopping. Number one, plenty of time. Number two, oh no, we're there at the moment. We're at number one, aren't we? I'm not going to number two. We always go to number two. We're in the games area. Everyone loves a family game at Christmas, don't they? And always worth looking down here because they are quite good prices as well for different games. Very good prices. It's a Stormtrooper puzzle for only $3.99. Jojo's going through a bit of a Star Wars phase at the moment. So a jigsaw puzzle? Yeah. And this is it? Yeah. A Fake pictures of Stormtroopers around the world. <laughs> Jojo's really silly. I think he'd like this. For three ninety nine, he would like it. It says the normal price is eighteen ninety nine. I think we get that for him. That's like you say, he would like it. Top Gear board game normally twenty five pounds, only three ninety nine. That's really reduced. I'm tempted to get that for Jojo because he loves cars, but I'm not sure if he will definitely like that game. But I'm going to get definitely get this one. Though. A magic set. Jojo really likes magic for so fourteen ninety nine. That's that's really good. It's normally twenty pounds. It is true as well because when you check the prices on Amazon, it, normally they're like way more expensive on Amazon, and I bet that is as well. How about the Home Bargains Monopoly? What Ooh. is that like? Are these like different stores for the places or something? I don't know. That's Ooh. so funny. I've seen a Poundland one as well before, and I was tempted to buy it more toys and in particular stuff that Jojo would like Lego not as many sets as they normally have or have had before a guitar for 1999 it's a classical one as well that's amazing for, for a kid that's first starting off look Katie Minecraft cuddlies know, and there's ones Jojo's not got before he has this one he love he's that. got so many of them I know he loves his cuddlies he really does they always turn up at Christmas somehow you're never too old for cuddlies you just phrased to me that you love this and it's awesome and I have yes. no idea what you're looking yeah. at. What is it? These Middle are one. normally £20 for a pack. Well, that's what it says on there anyway. And they're only £3.99. What is it? They're miniature games. Like, do you remember He-Man, Bob? Yeah. Do you remember that little telephone? Oh, yeah, and that's a pack of Uno. Uno, those guys, the boxing guys. Yeah, they have all different ones. Oh, do you remember those? Yes, they're like kaleidoscope binoculars yeah, or look, something. Yeah, My Little Pony, Barbie, Pictionary, Hot Wheels. What would you do with it? Is it just ornaments? It's just little things to collect, I think. Oh, Emily would love something like Emily that. Emily would love that. There's different things in each one. Right. Um, this one, they have Monopoly. A little Monopoly game, Connect Four, Kaplunk. That's a pretty cool idea if you feel like you just like things for display. Yeah, 3 99 though. You, you almost can't leave it there for that, but I can because I don't know Jojo would definitely like it. I love how there's a you can't leave it there for that category and then almost can't leave it there for that yeah. category. What we've just noticed as well, it seems to be on the end of every aisle there is extra Christmassy stuff. On every like single aisle. Onesies and clothes and ornaments and stuff. They've got a whole load of Peppa Pig things. They're not messing about with the Peppa Pig stuff. They've even got a Santa Claus Peppa Pig. But we know so many yeah. kids that like Peppa Pig, including yeah. my niece, Sophie. I think she would love this. This is normally £15, but it's only 11 99 I think if we've got budget, I'm going to come back and get this. But we want but to if get Sophie's watching, forget, yeah. forget you saw this. Yeah. Oh, there's some bluey stuff. We know Astrid likes a bit of bluey. I stand corrected. Bluey is a girl. Lots of you told us. We're only halfway through the store and we're heading into full on Christmas feel now. It kind of starts here and then goes all the way down. Why is it with giant donuts stuff at Christmas? I don't know. I think people just love donuts, really. Look at that's cute. I bought one of those last year though, one of these lollies. A smaller one. Yeah. That's only 99p. Should we get that? Put it somewhere. I think that's worth giving a go. Yeah, that's really nice. Well, they've got red oh. and silver ones. I thought that was red and silver then. I thought that would be great. What do you think? Should we get silver or gold? I, I feel like gold, maybe. Gold. Wow, Christmas just got dropped on this whole side. These. Novelty sack. Yeah, they're like Christmas sacks. This is only £1.49. Is that a sack as well? It's a big sack, yes. 97 centimetres tall. I think that's really nice. £1.49, you can't leave it. Oh, there. here we go. You really can't leave it. I swear she uses that whenever she wants. This is so funny, they even do Christmassy stuff. 
for dogs. This is a pet advent calendar. That is so funny. They do the matching pajamas, you know, for the whole family when all the family wear. That's what we did last year. Are you saying that could be us? Yeah. Well, we did it last year, but I'm wondering if Jojo's one still fit him. That's a good point. Yeah, so we might have to have a change. They've got so many Lots of good outfits yeah. and tops. I like this dude. It seems that all the aisles from here onwards are getting taken over and turned into Christmas aisles. What are you doing? <laughs> Just see your head pop. That's hilarious. Is it? Is it his legs sticking out? Is it good, is it? Have a look. Oh, <laughs> my head is the chimney. Yeah. And they've got our cups here. Remember our Christmas cups that are still going strong? They're like updated versions though. They've got a green one. Do you remember you broke your one? I think Jojo would like one as well. Get him a green one. What does it say though? The best way to spread Christmas cheer, singing loud for all to hear. Oh. That'll suit him. Oh yeah, and then we can have hot cocoa together, can't we? That is mine. I'll have the red one then. Popcorn, snacks, drinks, Christmas PJs. Sounds like a plan. So how much is each one? They're all 3 49 each. That's pretty good. What have you found? We have to get this. Why? It says a gingerbread house treat wall. So you build the gingerbread house. It's like cardboard and then you hang donuts and treats on there. Jojo will love this. Wow. Look at their Christmas section. How big it is and how much stuff they've got. They've got everything, but you didn't let me go back to the kitchen Christmas section. You just skipped This is the main cr Christmas section, come on. Are you thinking of changing your mug decision? Not much. I mean, they do have a K, but I think Jojo, I can't find a J though. They've got a B for you. No J, it would seem. They've got a K and a B, but no J, unless we call him Popo. What did you just suggest? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> She found her way back to the kitchen Christmas area. These are only £1.29. I've got gold ones of these, but we paid a fortune for them. You know that, right? <laughs> no. Oh, I do like some of these plates, though. But you do then wonder, well, you just pull them out once a year. I mean, there are certain things like the gold ones we use all through the year, don't yeah. we? When it, if it's a special occasion or we're doing a fine dining night. So it's kind of got loads of platter sets or plating up ideas. Yeah. for a Christmas party. Look That's at that, like, in a sled. Yeah. I'll eat those crisps. We've somehow ended up in Christmas snack aisle area. Look at all these snacks. This is where this budget could be in danger. Little spoons, candy cane spoon things. No, I'm glad you're not in charge of their marketing. For the hot chocolate. Oh, what? They melt, though, and you eat them. I don't know. I guess so. Yeah, because they're flavoured. They're 1.99. There's a lot of these different things here which might be good for Christmas Eve. Like they've got marshmallows for hot chocolates and other nice sweet treats and ideas. Grinch popcorn. Oh, that's cool. Gingerbread decorating kit with a Grinch on it. Are you reading a book there, Katie? No, it's not a book. It looks like it's a recipe book, but then you open it. <laughs> you don't need a recipe. <laughs> it's all done. That's 3.99. It's good for a gift. No. It's an advent calendar with noodles in there. You are kidding me. Jojo would love that. Sam might like that. $6.99. So you get 12 different packs of noodles? I guess you do it every other day or you start it 12 days before Christmas, I'm not sure. He would love that. We're heading back into the big Christmas area. Look at all these dudes. <laughs> what are these things called again? Gonks. It's basically a kind of gnome person, but all you see is the nose coming out of the hat. I don't know its origin story. This is apparently $9.99 for one of these. It's very good. I heard a gentleman moaning that he paid double the price in B&M. Really? I, I overheard him moaning. Look at you, Team Home Bargains, what? against B&M. I mean, I'm just saying what I heard. <laughs> there is literally a whole area dedicated to Grinch stuff. <laughs> These are cool jammies though. Can we get matching ones of these? Although the Grinch is all about him being negative, but he turns out all right, doesn't he? He turns out all right in the end. He didn't have the best Christmas growing up. That's why. I can relate. I, I yeah. grew up like that until yeah. I had kids of my own. Grinch stacked boxes. Something in them though, Something right? Something in there. I don't know what it is though. Maybe there's other boxes inside. They, they even think of the dog Max. They've got dog treats here. Every year you need it. It's wrapping paper. That's a big one. How long is that? So that's five meters long and it's 129. Although they've got eight meters over there, 129. But it's shorter, They're, those ones are shorter. Should we get a couple of long ones? Yeah, because look, there's the eight meter one there. 
So I pulled out the old brain and I did a bit of maths. You've got them both for 129. You've got five meters long by one meter wide, which works out five meters squared. And then you've got the eight meter ones, which are 0.7 meter wide, which works out 5.6 meters squared. So that's better value. Everything I just said made no sense to you whatsoever. You no. just like, which one's just, the best? Tell me which one to get. Get, get the eight meter one. I really like this. We do use a lot of um, reusable gift bags and boxes. We've got but, loads, yeah. yeah, we do use this and it's recyclable as well. That's good. Anyway, in other words, this eight meter one is the better value. Christmas Eve box. That is nice. That's so wood. Nice. You could reuse this for years and years to come. But we do still have one. We do still have yeah, one. Yeah, and ours is in good condition. We only got it last year. But you look, you can put the person's name and chalk on there as well. Yeah, they got some seriously nice gift bags here as well of all different sizes and varieties and colours. And you can reuse gift bags as well. Oh, tinsel. look at the size of that one. Tinsel, you say? We do need some. I swear we've got loads of tinsel, but it's loads of cut down small bits. We've got which don't even wrap around the tree. We have tinsel that we've had for years, I and swear. $1.99? I feel like this is nice. Oh, pink. There's not pink. There is pink. Are you a sucker for pink with your tree, are you? You know I am. Oh man, that's a cool idea. It's like a candy cane style, what they call a tree skirt, to go around the bottom of the tree. What did we do before? We did it for free because we got a cardboard box and we wrapped it up in Christmas wrapping paper and put the tree stand inside. Yeah, the box. so it looked like it was in a present. Yes, yeah, so you can save six ninety nine. Although that does look good, yeah. but you can do it for free if you can get a box from somewhere and mm. some old wrapping paper. You can make it look really nice. Yeah, it just looks like a present under the tree, basically. So just to let you know, according to the amount that we spent, which let's be fair, I could be wrong, we've got about eight pounds left. So we have to think oh. about what things we want to get now, okay. like if there's any snacks or decorations or any other thing. There's definitely not budget for this 30 pound train. No, but <laughs> do you know what? These are cool features. You can imagine there's certain people that go all out on Christmas displays. Uh, Jamie. Did Would she you... have this stuff outside her house? Yes. Did you see our Halloween set I didn't, I didn't. It was going from the top window all the way down. She's been drawn back to the tinsel, guys. Silver one? I think we need a silver one. You having fun there? I listen to that though. Are you actually interested in it or you just like the sound? I, I'm interested in it, but it's 12 99 so. Oh, we haven't got budget for that. Put it back. Like every Christmas haul, we've now come to the pizza and hot dog socks. You've got to give credit, there are some very interesting creative minds out there. Oh! Chip, chip socks. French fry socks. See, snowmans, icy, wintry stuff, Christmassy decoration, you get all that. Food in socks, however. I don't know how much these are, but I want to get them. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah. Are they like $1.49 like that one says? I'm going to get them for Jojo that he will love these. So this is going to be a full on meal in socks? I think they'll probably be about £1.49 each or something. So. so I'm estimating here so we could mess up the budget. Oh, look. Cat That's scratcher house. I want to get that for cats in here. You know what cats are like though? They'll use everywhere but that. But she'll just like going in there, won't she? And look, 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 and she's been really enjoying playing with a ball like that. Let's get rid of everything else and get this for $19.99. Okay, we can't. Oh, no. Are we going to put it back? Get it another day, maybe? Because I do really want to get it for her. Yeah. But it's like, what do we do with all the stuff we've got already? We're getting that another day. A second challenge. Something serious has happened, guys. She's changing the design of the crackers. You know, I like these ones more. They're the same price, aren't they? Yeah, they're the same price. Look how delicate she's taken off the shelf there. This is serious. I mean, they have ones down here that are on offer. Two for 10 pounds for these luxury ones. But they don't look that much different from what you get They're inside. a bit bigger, that's all really. Yeah, they're a bit Thicker. bigger. Snacks. Snacks. Look at this. A lot of people could be interested in this. Christmas puds. You were looking at ones the other day and what was a good price for them? Because in here they're like 89p. Oh wow. Or 199. That's very good. I think we should do a separate food specific Christmas haul. Because this isn't really about food. This isn't about food, but that is it. That's very good, 1.99. <laughs> Look at this for an advent calendar. All the doors, but it's like a sweet shop one. Does every door represent the kind of sweet it's on? I don't know. That's so cute. Why are you looking at the crackers? We've made the, the, the decision. All right, I just went to look at these ones. Katie, mm -hmm. this is your time, look. What? This is your opportunity to do it. What? I know this isn't a food shop. What have we got there? Come on, do it for Jojo. You can do it. Free gang, I'm relying on you. 
we nearly got kicked out the other day when we were in. That was Jojo. Come on. What have you got there, Katie? I'm sweating, see? Just thinking about it. This is going to be a momentous occasion on YouTube, Free Gang. This will go down in history. <laughs> you know what they are. Come on. I can't do it. I yes, you can. You can do it. What are they? And uh, she's gone. <laughs> One of my proudest moments, I've got to admit. I'm proud of you, okay? You did well. Wait until I tell Jojo, he's going to be so proud. Back to the shopping stuff, as that's what we're here for. Two salad wafers. Oh my goodness. Two for a pound. Okay, we have to come back for a food shopping video here. I have seen so many offers. Oh my goodness. Okay. We are looking at snacks. What is that? Well, I just candy floss was that. That would be a really nice stocking filler. They've got these candy floss tubs are just a really nice stocking filler, and they're so cheap. This one's even seventy nine p. And that one's ninety nine p. Yeah, I feel like we have just enough budget maybe to get one of these. And it's the snowman. Who remembers that the snowman? No, not the snowballs again. Do you remember the year we got these? We had snowball fights in the house with them. Yes. They're that very messy. They do get covered in dust though. Exactly. It's hard to get the dust off, so I'm not going to buy those. The picture of this girl on here does not tell the true story. So this has been so much fun. I know. Yeah, we have got some really good stuff, guys. I think we might have hit our budget, so we're going to head to the checkout now. And once we get home, we'll share with you everything we've got and see if we stayed in budget. And we're back, guys. And just for honesty reasons, it is, in fact, the next day. We spent so long in home bargains that it just got so late in the end. They have an unbelievable amount of Christmas stuff in there. Yeah, it's great. I would strongly advise if you are someone on a budget this Christmas, head down to Home Bargains if you have one near you because they have so many good things at really good prices. Especially the toys, how many toys they had. Yeah, a um, lot of variety in general of lots of different things. Yeah. Even for pets. Even for pets, we were going around checking some of their prices compared to Amazon, looking on our phones, and some of the things in Home Bargains are a quarter of the price of some of the things on Amazon. You can snag a quite a few bargains down there if you are on a budget this Christmas, or even if you're not, even if you just want to save a bit of money. We almost stayed in budget. We spent £51 for all of this only 51 pounds that's amazing we got a really cool luxury advent calendar we got a really lovely puzzle for jojo we got some novelty socks which actually we found out the price they were one pound 50 each yeah that's what i like about there you get lots of different things like when you think you've got stuff like for yourselves like cups to have in the kitchen or you've got snacks like the candy floss we actually do want to go back that they had so many Christmassy food products. We want to do a whole Christmas food haul there. That how many good offers. Yeah. I mean, the stuff was such good value as well. So we do want to go back and get more food items there. I feel like it's one of those shops you could cover so much of your Christmas. You could oh. gifts, food, wrapping paper, and Christmas specific stuff. Yeah. Crackers. So much. They had so many crackers. You kept on changing your mind. I know. So much of their stuff, so much of their wrapping paper is recyclable as well. Some really nice gifts, really reasonable priced gifts. That's just their standard stuff that yeah. they do. That's not even out for Christmas. This sack, huge sack. I and mean, it's obviously folded right now, but it's massive. It's nearly a metre long. And uh, that was like £1.50. So, or 149, that's, that was amazing. Yeah, obviously we got tinsel. I she couldn't help but wear it. I haven't bought tinsel for years. I just reuse so much Christmas stuff, but it We was, haven't it, bought any new Christmas decorations in a long time. No, so it's not, it is nice to get some new things. Yeah. Although I'll still use the old ones because I love them. Got this one, it is putting glitter all over the place right now. Hopefully there'll be some left when Christmas does come. Oh, this thing, gingerbread house treat wall. I love this. That's like a couple of quid. Jojo's gonna love doing this. I am so glad we had a budget. Yeah. Because, oh my goodness. We you could, could go crazy in there. We could have spent 200, 300 pounds in there. There was so much good stuff. Yeah, so I'm really happy with everything we got. What's quite cool, guys, is we've got some really fun ideas to do with certain things here, which we'll see in an upcoming video. But that's where we're gonna end this video, guys. We hope you have enjoyed it. We'd love to hear your comments below. If you'd like to see us do more Christmas shops, at Home Bargains or anywhere else, let us know in the comments below. 
But we will see you all in the next video. Just remember though, no matter where you guys are in the world, always stay free. And just keep rising.